Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also to your relatives and to your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering, please don't forget to subscribe. So we have this problem. An open tank is 2.4 meters long, 1.2 meters wide, and 0.6 meter high. Contains crude oil of specific gravity 0.92, three-fourths full according to the gauge located at the front bottom of the tank. No liquid is spilled in the situation. Determine the acceleration that the tank must have parallel to the longest sides so that the gauge will read Problem 3.1 full, B 3.2 60% full, and 3.3 determine the reading in the gauge if the car travels at a constant speed of 100 km per hour. So to help visualize the situation, so here is the tank, 2.4 meters along the longest dimension, and perpendicular to the board 1.2 meters, and it is 0.6 meters high. Since initially it reads, three, it is three-fourths full, so three-fourths of 0.6 because it is uh, uniform tank, three-fourths of 0.6 is 0.45, so that's 0.45. Remember the gauge is on the front bottom, so this is the location of the gauge. Now, for part 3.1, remember no liquid is spilled, so that this reads full the the crude oil should cross this top front edge here and this should be the figure for that crude oil surface to be in that figure it should decelerate so the acceleration will be rightward or leftward but in this case it should be leftward remember the the effect of the reverse effective force so it will have this liquid surface, this crude oil surface. And since the liquid is spilled and the gauge reads full, so it should cross there. So that this is 0.6. So this angle is denoted by theta or theta 1. This is also theta 1. So the tangent of theta 1 is, this is 0 0.15, 0 0.6 minus 0.45 divided by half of 2.4 to 1.2 by this right triangle and the acceleration is negative so that's the direction of acceleration but in this case it should decelerate the tank should decelerate so that this will be the resulting crude oil surface so that the front uh, the gauge will read full so again, tangent of theta 1 is Ax over G, where Ax is expected negative. So negative Ax over G, acceleration due to gravity from the derived formula, equals by trigo in this right triangle, point, quantity 0 0.6 minus 0 0.45 or 0 0.15 over 1.2. This is 1.2 half of 2.4. So tangent of theta 1 equals negative Ax over G equals 0.15 over 1.2. From there, we can solve for Ax and it is negative 1.226 meters per second square. For the second part, so that it reads 60% full, remember if the depth is 0.45 meter initially, it is 75% full. For the reading to be 60% full, the crude oil surface should look like as shown. It should look like that. And remember, no liquid is spilled, no crude oil is spilled, that the drop in the depth should be less than 0.15. So this one. So if it reads 60% full, 60% or 0.6 of, of 0.6, 60% or 60% or 0.6 of 0.6 because the full reading is 0.6 is 0.36. So this is theta 2 and the depth is 0.36. Therefore, uh, 
uh, this is 0.45 minus 0.36 so since this is expected double this depression here so that this value here is equal to 2 times quantity 0.45 minus 0.36 as labeled here so that tangent of data 2 equals ax this time the acceleration is positive it should be right toward so that the crude oil surface will look like that and it is equal to tangent of data 2 is ax over g and it is equal to this value here 2 times quantity 0.45 minus 0.36 over this base of right triangle 2.4 so tangent of data 2 equals ax over g equals 2 times quantity 0.45 minus 0.36 over 2.4 so solving for ax ax is equal to 0.7358 meters per second meter per second square finally uh, determine the reading in the gauge if the car travels at a constant speed of 100 kph constant speed means zero acceleration so the depth anywhere is uniform at 0.45 since gauge pressure is specific weight of liquid times depth so it is specific weight of crude oil specific gravity 0.92 times specific weight of water times 0.45 so re gauge reading is gamma h so it is equal to 0.92 times 9.81 times 0.45 Solving for the gauge reading, it is equal to 4.061 kilopascals. So that's it for this problem. Yeah, this is a simple one. I hope that you are able to follow the solutions and the explanations.